I'm going to bring you with the last. Okay. <laughs> Good. I'm, I'm just reminding you. He's reminding you that he's recording this. <laughs> uh, everything you say, maybe you use against you. I'm just saying. It's easy. Uh, okay, so. Uh, Currently, in the syllabus, we need to uh, discuss gene regulation. Uh, and, uh, this class is also about uh, uh, gene genomics, molecular body and genomics. And so, and then the bottom line of this class is to find out the human mutation in MSH2 gene, find out the mutation, convert that into yeast, design a mutagenic primer to introduce that mutation in yeast, and then do experiments. That's the whole thing, and then uh, that's what we are going to do today. Uh, but before doing that, I'm going to. Uh, do we have to use APE today? Uh, in theory, you can do APE for many things, but not today. Today, we use something else. Nothing else? No. There are three structure genes like D, Y, and A. Those are the genes uh, needed to uh, uh, break down uh, lactose. So that's on the DNA, on the bacterial chromosomes. Uh, so basically, if the, the idea is for the life opera, uh, so we have the lactose concentration, glucose concentration. Uh, we have the expression of that opera. Uh, 
Are we doing another concept map? Um, uh, this is actually not a concept map. Yeah, I'm basically, uh, so if there's uh, no glucose, uh, glucose is low, lactose is high, this is when the lactose from uh, expression is on. Green, green ball, green line, on. So the cell only, uh, if glucose level is high, lactose prong is low, oops, uh, it is low. And then the lactose prong is the red line off. This is the inducible uh, opera. So basically, the cell uh, uh, is going to take some uh, investment energy to break down lactose. So if if there is no lactose around, the cell say I will not generate all those components needed to break down lactose. And so those those like Z, like Y, like A, those are the uh, enzymes needed to break down lactose. But the cell figure out E. coli, figure out a clever way, say only when lactose is around, I'm going to express this, uh, those genes. If there's no lactose around, I won't even express them. Yeah. How, uh, how did cell do that? It's basically because the lactose is acting with lactose. I guess that's the lactose. Uh, is acting as a trigger, inducer. So there's a like I for a repressor gene. It's going to bind in this O operator. O is operator. O. So the O here is operator. So the repressor will bind to the operator position, and then the RNA polymerase cannot proceed to transcribe those genes. So that's how the lag gene is turned off when lactose is not around. When, when there is no lactose, this gene is turned off because the lag I is bound to the O operator position and then the RNA polymerase cannot move to the right. RNA polymerase has to move to the right to transcribe this gene. Okay. Um, so, wait, can you repeat that? This is DNA, like I can to make its mRNA translated into like I protein and then binds to the O okay. operator. So is this process used to stop RNA polymerase from transcription? Or is this just like a defect? This is not defect, this is the normal function. So that's so that's what we would use like I for it to stop RNA polymerase from transcription. the lack of from the three genes. Like V, like Y, like V. This is called the opera. So this whole thing is called the opera. Opera. We are talking about the lack of opera. So this whole thing is called the lack of opera regulation. It's, uh, it's the very first gene regulatory circuit of the Nobel Prize. And so if we don't have So if we don't have like I we can't like it's turned off, nothing happens. But if we do have it I if you if there's no like I the gene will always be on. Oh. Because the lag I is the off switch. It's going to turn the transcription off. Right. So when the lag I binds to, uh, maybe I can do this. Uh, let me try this. Uh, so 
the left eye it always binds to this place. Left eye. When left eye bind here, and then the RNA polymer cannot move to the right. That this movement will be stopped. So 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 this happened when there's no lactose. And since there's no lactose, lactose is just a different kind of uh, carbohydrate, different kind of sugar. Right? Glucose is the Major. typical sugar bacteria of us were like. But lactose is the different kind. And for the different kind of carbon source bacteria, these those special enzymes uh, like Z, like Y, like A to break them down. But since if, if there is no lactose as food for bacteria to eat, bacteria say I will not uh, synthesize those enzymes. But how does bacteria achieve this? Is because the Without lactose, the lac I, this gene, this protein, will bind here. And it basically uh, shut off the transcription of this unit. This is operon. This is something we call operon. Right. I think that's the hop, hop, when, when the lactose is around, when the lactose is around, uh, yes, it changes. When the lactose is around, lactose is around blue. Uh, but how did the bacteria turn this whole thing on? Because the, the lactose act as a, a trigger and they're going to uh, uh, switch off this lac like I uh, repressor, turn this one into an inactive repressor. And, and then this will be cleared off. There's no lac I bind to the operator anymore. So the operator will be cleared off, and then the transcription only a previous. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, this automatic uh, the sperm laptop gave you, gave you this automatic earlier, really annoying. Uh, especially in the middle of lunch. <laughs> so, I, okay, now. The RNA polymerase, without the lac I here, the RNA polymerase can move to transcribe this gene. Uh, let me uh, redraw this. Okay. Let me redraw this. Uh, so Wait. Okay, so regardless whether there's lactose or no lactose, the gene is going to be expressed. It's just different ways of doing it, right? No, or it's going to. No, no, no. When there is lactose, um, the gene is expressed. That's when right. There's no lactose, That's right. Yeah. What do you so, the lactose, lactose. Oh, okay. Z Y A. So what is lact? Oh, oh, okay, okay. So, so those are all. Uh, those are the uh, chromosome DNA. Those are mRNA. Those are protein product. So only when um, lactose is present, like Z, like Y, like. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I think I'm sorry, I missed the, the, the only way is what? Um, so the only way that like Z, Y, and A can be expressed is if lactose is present? Uh, I would say yes or no, because based on what I just told you, it seems yes, but uh, this, the things is more complicated than that, uh, I'm going to explain later. Okay. So, but, Based on I just told you, it seems like that way, but they actually not. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. okay I feel retarded. So I understand when lactose is not present, or I understand when lactose is uh, present, the gene is expressed. So what does lac I have to do with anything? Because I know when you say lactose is present, it's the inducer right here. It's active. The repressor is active. Uh, lac I is actually the repressor binds here. Lac I is a repressor. Oh, so when there is no lactose, then that's when the repressor. Binds. That's right. Yeah, yeah, binds. yeah, yeah. Lac okay. I is a repressor. 
Okay. Yeah. Repressive is a more a generous, general term, but in lack of from the repressor is like I. Okay. Yeah. So this, uh, yeah. I mean, you have we have a president. They don't have president hated. But but every school has a president, but only Spelman has a hater. <laughs> uh -huh. So repressor is a general term for all repressors, but in lack of problem, the repressor is like I. Okay. The inducer is also a general term, but in lack of problem, the inducer is lactose. It, all, it can also be some kind of a synthetic compound, which is actually more potent than lactose. Yes. Yes. What exactly the glucose? Why do I put the glucose here? So <laughs> uh, finally, yeah, uh, this has come back to the question uh, uh, Diana just said. So if you look on this, basically it means if if the lactose the gene should be turned out, if there is no lactose the gene should be shut off. That's actually not the case. Yeah, glucose actually is the preferred energy source. It, 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 the, the, the analogy I come out with is this hybrid car. So the hybrid car uses a battery charge, it also has gasoline engine. So normally the gasoline engine only charges the battery. When you, even when you stop at the stop sign, the engine is still running pretty high, high speed, but that is charging the battery. But when the battery runs out, and then the car can be powered by the gasoline engine. So, so for the hybrid car, it prefers the energy source is the battery. But when the battery is out, it's going to use the gasoline. So lactose is the gasoline. They use lactose. That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, lactose is the gasoline. Okay. Glucose is the battery. Uh, oh. Glucose is the preferred okay. energy source of bacteria. So, which is very good. Yeah. So basically, if glucose is around. Uh, lactose will not be used as a preferred energy source. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right, yeah. So, so basically, well, I, I kind of already mentioned, so when the glucose is, uh, basically when the glucose is high and the lactose is high, will the lactose be on and off? Will, yeah, will this with the lack of problem, on, turn on, or switch off. It'll be off, right? It's yeah. The lack of problem will be off because it's going to be off because there's no glucose. Yeah, so this actually is off. So, so, so that doesn't mean lactose always turning on. When the glucose is also high, it actually doesn't turn on. How can cell do this? How can this cell do this? That's because this thing, this CRP out there. It's uh, not an enzyme. It's called, what, what, what does the Google tell you? CRP. It's a DNA binding protein. It binds to a site called C, the C site. And it also needs CAMP, silico AMP. Uh, I'm going to add another chart, say, CAMP level. Uh, and then I put some question mark here. Well, when the expression is on, CAMP is on, right? Uh, or it's okay, high. Let me rephrase the question. When the glucose is high, to the CMP high uh, or low? It's high. Is it? No. Why is it uh, high? It's high because the, the gene is being expressed. Because can, can I have a clicker something? Do you have clicker? Oh. Uh, are you kind of show by hand? Uh, who think uh, CMP should be high? I mean, it's it's really low. low. High is the low hand. I think it's the interstellar. Uh, yeah, at this level, lactose is high, glucose is high. Will the CMP high or low? Please raise your hand. If it's high, okay. If it's low, please raise your hand. I see one vote here. Two votes. It has to be low. 
glucose is high, lactose is high, uh, I think it's CMP is high. It's high. I think it's high. I think it's low. Uh, okay, Let, let's stop. Yeah, please high, raise your, raise your hand. Two. Low, raise your hand. One, two, oh, three, four, right. five, six, seven. Oh, gee. Okay, can I give a reason for why I say it's high? Can I give a reason for why I believe it's high? Okay, sure, yeah. Okay, I'm just thinking because in this diagram right here, because it has left, left eye, oh, is that what it's called? Left eye. Left eye? Left eye. Uh, let me give you a hint. Left eye has nothing to do with the CAP level. Okay. Left eye is the DNA binding protein bonds to the O side, operator side. And CAP is determined by. Really? Okay, can I ask okay, so yeah. Can I change my answer to low? Yeah. You threw me off. <laughs> I I no, low. you threw me off because off is oh. green. So that threw me off. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Off is should be So red. when yeah. glucose is high, that thing yeah. is down. Yeah. It's it's low. Sorry. Because because that only involves the like operon cycle. It doesn't have to do it. Like once glucose is turned on, like you know. Oh, I see. Okay, so you are back to inference. That's right. <laughs> okay, so uh, I see. Okay, so so this uh, actually you, uh, there is a hint here. So uh, so if this way in the arm, that means it should be CNP uh, binds at the C, uh, CNP and CRP binds at the C position, and RNA fragment can move to the right. So if this is wrong, that means CNP should be. High, yeah. If this one is low, that means CMP should be low, and this should be low. So this, and so this should be low. Is that what Google tells us? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, how about this one? The first one. It should be high. Google is low. This is high, this is on, this should be high yeah. for gene to be turned on. And this one, the hook is high, vector is low, this should be low. Can somebody explain why again? Why is it low when glucose and lactose are high? Uh, actually, uh, the CRP level only determines like glucose and has nothing to do with that. Okay, so. Why is it the opposite of glucose? Well, uh, so, I know you say it only has to deal with glucose, but when you have glucose, that means you don't need as much CAMP. -C is, that, is that what that's reading? Because that's how I'm interpreting what it right now. What is AMP do? Cyclic AMP, what is AMP? Silical AMP. AMP is a monophosphate. Uh, yeah, what is silicon AMP and glucose? Uh, okay, let me also Google see. <laughs> Because you have glucose, you don't need as many CAMPs to to uh, make the lap up round work. In other words, and then when I, so, but, uh, it, I mean when glucose is high, not, it's actually not the reason. Uh, the glucose will determine CMP. CMP will actually regulate many many other things. Whoa! CMP is the second. What? I don't You're think saying it, it regulates, but like I don't get why. Uh, I guess that's out, that's outside of the lack problem. That's that's more complex. That's just a cell use as a trigger. 
it's just a uh, cell you that use the silicon energy to uh, to as a as a relay. And the glu when the glucose level is changing, how does the how does the cell regulate other things? The cell basically sends the glucose level and then you silicon energy level as a signal transduction. So what? From so you from downwards. you see that second paragraph? It says CMP, engine? for example, is involved in the positive regulation of lac operon. Yeah. So if lac operon is not on, CMP is not involved. So uh, not. No, no, but that's yeah. like, because if you read the second sentence, in an environment of low glucose concentration, it's, it's re you're required to use it, which means that you really need, CMP is a strong thing when you don't have glucose, in other words, or it's better, I, I don't know, I don't, I'm confused. Uh, okay, uh, you, you can basically view the glucose that CMP on the anti-coupled signal. Uh -huh. uh, when the glucose is high, it should yeah, push the CMP down. Um, mm -hmm. That's called... Equilibrium? No. You have a child uh, walking on... A balance? Yeah. A psych seesaw? A uh, scale. Scale? <laughs> uh, anyhow, so, so basically, basically this. Uh, you, you, have, uh, you have the glucose on one side and CMP on another side. So if glucose is heavy, uh, high, if glucose is high, uh, well, glucose is high and the CMP can be low. I think we understand it. I don't understand why though. Like I understand uh, the balance, but I don't understand why, why is CAMP high when glucose is low? Uh, is it because right. glucose is the main source, and so like when glucose is not the main source of um, of energy or or carbon or whatever, then CAMP takes on that role uh, in the there must in be the. Uh, that's actually related so to all the metabolism. That's actually more complicated. Uh, Uh, it says a nucleotide. It's a nucleotide that required that is required for the initiation of transcription of a large number of inducible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's a nucleotide. Usually, that is not explained in most of textbooks because that's a very complicated uh, final uh, product. So through a mirror the metabolic uh, uh, regulation. So glucose is going to metabolize by the uh, fermentation pathway and TCA cycle. There will be a lot of pathway in the middle. So there will be there will be a glycolysis pathway, TCA cycle, blah, 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 many things for this to occur. It's actually not straight line. Mm -hmm. So usually that skipped over. But that's what the uh, end result is. When it's high, that one will be low. That uh, proof is low, that one will be high. That's just the final result. Yeah. So, but of course, when both are low, and you have off. So only when glucose is low, this one is high, this one will be high. That's okay. Then there. Uh, that's all the time. Yeah. With given glucose and metal. So, in fact, uh, so, Will you still be able to to express the lactose gene? 
if the if the CMP is blocked, then the glucose regulation will be blocked. Yeah, but that means that lactose will come into play. So could you still be able to translate those um, ZYNA? Okay, so let's let's do this readily. So if glucose conversion to CMP is blocked, you always have very low CMP. That's what we are asking about. So basically, regardless of glucose level, the cell, this mutant cell, still has very low level CMP. Mm -hmm. And then, so basically, uh, regardless of glucose, you always have very low level CMP, and the CRP, uh, the, the, this will be always nothing but here, and that polymerase won't be here. So the transcription will always be turned off, regardless of lactose. There's just no RNA polymerase to do the work. If the CMP is low, there's no uh, CAP binds to the C side. RNA polymerase will not bind to the promoter. Yeah, so the, the, the gene will be always shut off. In fact, that's a very good question. That's the next, uh, next question. Uh, OK. Uh, uh, oh, this this probably also mentioned some genetics, but uh, I can I can explain the genetic part. So uh, this is a, a possible question, kind of occurring in that, uh, but not now it's just an exercise. Let's say that the mutation occurred uh, in the laptop run. Uh, we call that mutation X. I in this uh, then. In the lab, we also have various known mutations, right? So we have a first strand uh, minus means the mutation in like I, plus means the wild type. So strand number one, like I minus, rest is plus. Strand number two is plus, 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 minus this. The first strand always express like, like opera because there's no repressor. If we remove the repressor, the gene is always turned on, right? So that's the phenotype of the first one. The second one, we have the repressor, but the gene itself is a mutant. So even though we turn the transcription on, the gene is mutation. So <laughs> there's still no, no uh, product come out. Right? That's the second one. Now, how do, we, how do we figure out what the X mutation is? The X mutation can express lack of brown uh, when lactose is not there. And when we put uh, the X mutation into the strain 1, the phenotype is still the same. The strain 1 still has the same phenotype. When we put uh, the mutation into strain 2, the mu uh, the the response is also the same, phenotype is still the same. And then the question will be, what's the most likely mutation of this X? Is it what? I think it's like I. You think it's like I? Uh, I don't think it's like I. Is it not the operator? This is basically, you can basically try this. Right? Which one? See which one will work out. Let's try the first one, uh, CAP binding site. Okay, what does the CAP binding site do? Uh, I know that you need CAP to bind to CAP. So the CAP signal. So liquid MP bind the CAP and bind to the C site, then pull the RNA polymerase start to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, okay, so can I. Draw the lack of opera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I think your French name pronounce is very interesting. How about you? <laughs> why? Why? It's so embarrassing. I don't remember all of it. Uh, it's not hard. It is. Okay. Uh, you draw. Kiana. Uh, go. Kiana what? knows that she's she Kiana says she with you. You want to draw this? Kiana said she remembers very well. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Close for me, but you can, you can, you can come to the one that others can tell you. Let's go. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. We can't, we can't get a peek at the picture again, first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you come to the ball and uh, how about and then the rest of the time tell you what to do. Well, that works. See, why? Well, I can get that option. Yeah. You know, I can't draw. Why well, uh, you better? Uh, you don't think it's your list? I should draw mine. A line? Yeah. For the, um, yeah. That's a crazy instruction. The little box line. Oh, yeah. oh with the yeah. different lines. Yeah. yeah. And then the CPR. Or not CPR. What's it called? CPR. <laughs> CRP. <laughs> <laughs> I know some stuff comes from other Well, if you can't remember it, yeah, maybe. That's, that's <laughs> CAP. Yeah, yeah. CAP is up at the top. CRP. This C A P, yeah, that's C A P at the very uh, top. C A this thing? No, 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 just C A P, and then it's C A P. Cause the the C A P binds to the C A P. Yes, <laughs> So the C B. capital C Cap. capital A capital P. Yeah, Cap. that's what I said. And then it's the C A M P. So then they're like these big circles, like draw these like big little around it. No, I'm just trying yeah, like, you really like to draw. How about you come here? Right. That's what I'm saying. No. Right, 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 yeah. yeah, you got the vision. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we need some circles. Come and draw the circles. Um, <laughs> so C-A-M-P, I'm going to stay up here, but we got to work together. Uh, so C-A-M-P, and then the circle is going to look something like this. What does that bind to? I'm confused with the circle. You have all the money. Oh, I'm going to say it. Here, you have various colors if you like. Y'all yeah, remember how many boxes we were in here? It was three. It was the blue, green, These are the C. Yeah. One was a C box, one was an R box, one was a P box. Three boxes. No, like, do another line in between the two you just did. Yeah, you see. <gasps> <laughs> and then do one more line close to the Yeah, right there. And then do C R P. C R P. Yeah. The second box, C R P. Yeah, C. Because we need to do R. R and then P. I'm done being like this. Okay, I don't know where lack one goes. Lack one all the way at the bottom. Yeah, it goes down somewhere. Because there was also one on the side. I don't know how you're drawing this. What? What's the three over there? I mean, I'm not switching. Is that supposed to be an O? The operating yeah, side? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the O. Like, the operating O is supposed to be. Oh, it like, must be C. Wait, like, where's the Z Y and H? Like, 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 the Z? Y'all talking about the Z Y and H? Dang, we messed up. Z Y and H. Just add some extra boxes down there for Z Y. No, you need to add some extra boxes at the beginning because you gotta write like I and like D. She got the picture right here. This is on the comments. It's on the um, um, it's on pages. Yeah. We got the um, black Z. Y. Black Z. Kinda. Black Z. Black Y. Black Y. So it's C. R. P or C R. Yeah, and that's what that's what this stops when. Okay. So. What's the C and O? What's in between? I don't know. I don't know. The like P. Yeah, it should just be P. That's what I was Yeah, P promoter. for promoter. So this, no, this should just be P. That should be an R. I didn't tell her that. I did. It's my fault. I'll take that. <laughs> and the other one right now. <laughs> so what's next to this? Nothing? I don't know. Um, next to the Z is a Latin. Oh. Wait. The o so we get a Z. The P over the Z. Oh, so yeah, yeah, right. So then that extra space right there. Okay. Yeah. So that like O should be next to the yeah. last C. Oh. So, oh, yeah. C. And then what was right here? Right here. Black eye. Black eye is the first one, right? Yeah, black eye is the first one. Where's the C coming from? Hmm. She did. I just know the promoter. No, it said it wasn't the last C. It's like O, black P, black eye. And then I, I remember it was like. 
the black eye, it became the. Um, it, it, was a, it was active. It's an active eye. Like active. And then there's also, a, it was like a repressive so blood. So you gotta draw a or it was a, a inactive thing that binds to it to make it. So the inducer binds to the right eye in. to make it inactive? Something like that. Should I put active in here with the left eye? Yeah, yeah. put active. The left repressive And then we change the colors. Purple boxes. And these are represented. Inducers that inactivate the left eye. Okay. How many? Two. Boxes. Is that the active repressor? Yes. Is it called the active repressor or the inducer? I think repressor. Is it repressor? Uh huh. Every eye is a repressor. So these are our inducers, oh. right? Inducers. Wait, no, no, no. No, these are the repressors. He just said the inducer is the lactose. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm confused now. I'm just water break. You said that. <laughs> yeah, so when, the, when there's lactose present, the lactose induces the whole process or stops the whole process. Right. That, that, that's what, um, so this is the repressor. When black eye is actually yeah. repressed, because that's when it that's connects right. to the uh, black eye is the repressor. Right. So then you draw. So these are the inducers to stop the black eye to turn it off. That's right. Yeah. So then you draw another black eye with that on top of it. So you can go draw the arrow to that and stop it. So those are the inducers, and we draw. The in the black eye. And the What's that extra space between the black eye and the septum? Because that's, that's where the, um, what is it? The RNA polymerase, so now this is inactive. Oh, that's RNA polymerase. And then you can draw this and activate this. So you can draw an arrow. Aren't both of these, I mean, because that's just mine. It's just saying, right now it's being, the RNA is. Um, copying it, so translating it, and once this goes to the operating system, they'll stop it. So if you draw the air, it's not operating. Is that right? Yeah, it goes to the operating system. Yeah. Does this, do we make That's it? right, yeah, that's okay. right. Although if it's induced, it's an active one. Oh, the active, right. That's right. what I was okay. thinking. Okay. So this one, okay. Active goes to operating, and then the inactive is going to use the inactive. Right. Okay. So this is the one that goes to the Yeah, usually you, you draw a cup holder circle goes through. Yeah. 
uh, this is called complementation. Uh, if I so I know the left eye on the original strain positive. If I put a mutant like I negative, or I put a mutant like I uh, negative here. But the negative one will be uh, this phenotype will be rescued. So, so the C is making sense. And D we can eliminate now. So the answer should be C for this. You, your explanation is wrong. <laughs> Don't you get your explanation was all the way wrong. So it's not head. head. Yeah. So but so you can explain this to somebody else. A doctor would be like, can you shut up? A doctor would be like, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, may I remind you I'm having a recording on? Oh man. <laughs> It's okay, I forgot to. <laughs> 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 you press it on the other one. Uh, okay, it's probably fun for you to review it. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, in the exam, basically, I, if, if my voice ever matters, uh, a similar person may occur in the exam. Although I probably modified it. So. Uh, yeah. Okay, so in fact, uh, if I put another mutation, uh, what happened if the CAP protein had a mutation? What happened? Uh, what happened if I have a mutant is, which is CAP minus? Usually, a mutant will if we put in lower case, that means in the mutation a minus. Yes. Uh, it's also sometimes we say the recessive, but not always the case. But I guess in your book, uh, somehow the book of biology book, you say we always put a recessive and a lower case. So if there's a mutation, nothing, I mean, nothing would happen because it wouldn't be able to bind to CAMP and it wouldn't pull the RNA polymerase for it to go, right? That's right. So this thing going to be always off, regardless yeah. of lactose, glucose. Yeah. This is just completed off. In, so, uh, CAP starts it all off. What? CAP starts it all off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're in fact, uh, this, this thing probably is going to kill the cell. Right? So, uh, in reality, it probably has to be something called temperature sensitive mutation. Because this, uh, this is so critical, you're going to shut off everything. The cell probably will be killed if beta mutation. But if there's a mutation, a lack of operon cell is still going to live because lactose cell may or may not need it. If cell have glucose, it's perfectly okay to without even thinking about lactose. So for, if there are mutations in lactose cell often are still alive. But mutation in CAT is probably have very uh, widespread uh, damage or Okay, uh, that's about the. Uh, uh, I think we are. Well, we have spent a, a long time on the lecture of the front, so we, we, I'm going to stop the recording and start with. Let's have a break.